I heard the Wii turn on as the clicking noises in the fans started to go. I was just dozing off when this happened. I slowly opened my eyes and looked at the Wii. The light was green. It was on. It just turned on by itself. I walked up to it and pressed the power button. It turned off, with the light now red. But as I walked back to my bed, I heard it turn on again. Thus, I turned it off again. I just wanted to go to bed. It would just turn on again and again. I figured I would unplug it. I leaned down towards the power cord of the Wii, but before I could take it out of the wall socket, I heard static noises coming from the TV. I looked up, and then I saw that the TV was turned on. What's going on? I thought. I decided to sit down on my bed and find out what the hell was going on. There was static on the screen, so I picked up the Wii Remote, pointed it to the TV, and pressed the A button. Nothing happened. I didn't expect anything to happen though. The static still didn't go away. I just sat there for a few seconds, waiting for the static to clear up, if it was going to anyway. But then it did, and I was greedy to see Edeled in the Me channel. Sam, I heard you talking to Kyle. Edeled said. Edeled, I'm not gonna let him do anything to you, okay? I stated. Well good, because at the end of the day, he's the murderer. Edeled responded. Edeled, how were you able to hear me? I questioned. I can hear everything that happens outside the Wii, whether it's on or off. So you can just hear everything whenever you want? It's not whenever I want, I don't have a choice. I always hear everything that happens outside the Wii. Edeled, I just want to go to bed. Alright. All I'm saying is do not let Kyle do anything. Do you understand? Yes, I replied. But before Edeled could reply, the screen cut to black. Edeled, what happened? I frightfully asked. No response. After waiting for about 10 seconds, I heard that same unknown voice I heard at the end of the hallway video. I wish that I I missed stuff I did Who are you? I yelled. <laughs> what do you mean? I demanded. Electricity can cure a lot of things, especially when shots to the front of the head. I didn't know what it was talking about. What shocks? I was once again confused and a little scared. What do you mean? I demanded one more time. Henry was the only one to become me. That was the last thing the voice said before both the TV and the Wii turned off. I just didn't want to think about it anymore. I just wanted to sleep. I laid in my bed and dozed off. I woke up the next morning, made my breakfast, got dressed, and went to school. I forgot about what happened last night until I remembered it on the way to school. I started to think to myself as I walked, whose voice was that? What did it mean by Henry wasn't the only person who became a me? I made it to school about 5 minutes late, because I was up so late last night. I walked into class, gave my late slip to Mr. Brenner and then sat down. Alright class, I was just about to introduce our new student, Kyle Sander. Mr. Brenner called out. My eyes suddenly sprung open as my tiredness disappeared. This is a dream, isn't it? There's no way Kyle goes to my school now. I tried pinching myself, but I didn't wake up. This wasn't a dream. Kyle got up from his desk and stood in front of the class. I looked at his appearance and, obviously, he went through some puberty, but I can still make some similarities from Kyle now to his me. 
Hello, my name is Kyle. I didn't move anywhere, I just moved schools because the one I was going to was pretty crappy, Kyle stated. Mr. Brunner likes to do this thing where whenever a new student joins our class, each student says their name and their favorite thing to do. Mr. Brunner started on the other side of the classroom to start introducing Kyle to everyone. I was on the other side, which meant I would be one of the last people to go. But before I knew it, it was my turn to introduce myself. I was silent for a couple seconds, thinking about what I was going to say. Hello, my name is Sam Coleman, and my favorite thing to do is play video games, I said. Kyle looked at me with a slightly surprised look. He obviously recognized my voice, and of course, I recognized his. Once everyone was done introducing themselves, Kyle sat down and for the remainder of the class, he just looked at me. I couldn't blame him really. He is shocked to know that I was the person who currently owned his old Wii. I would have done the same. After that class was over, it was time to go to our next class, which was math. As I walked, Kyle slowly walked beside me. Uh, Sam? Kyle asked. What is it? I quietly replied in a mad tone. I was still kind of upset with him from the call that we had last night and his motives to destroy the Wii. You are the same Sam who I called last night, right? You know, about the Wii? Kyle asked. <sighs> yes, I responded. Okay, um, has anything else happened last night after that call? Kyle questioned. I stopped and turned around to face him. Why do you want to know? I asked seriously. Kyle was silent for a few seconds. I just want to take the Wii back, Kyle answered. To do what? I questioned again. And Kyle was silent again. Let me guess, you're just going to destroy it. You even said in that call that you wanted to destroy it, I quietly said. I'm not letting you take it, I continued. In fact, how did that we even get into that valley village? I asked again. <sighs> my dad was looking for some stuff to donate and was looking to donate something of mine. I don't play my other Wii much anymore, and he assumed that the Wii that has Edelet on it was the Wii that I bought in 2010, Kyle explained. But he didn't check with me to confirm that the Wii was in fact the one from 2010, so he just guessed, and it turns out he took the wrong one, Kyle concluded. Then why did you even move to this school? I asked one more time. I switched schools because the previous one I went to was just crappy. I told one of my friends at the time about the whole Edelhead story, and he obviously didn't believe me, Kyle explained. I honestly wasn't surprised, but I told that dolt not to tell anyone else, and after I told him he proceeded to tell everyone else in my grade. Everyone in that school now thought that I was a con artist and a liar, Kyle continued, and eventually started getting cyberbullied, which just made it worse. And eventually, it just got a bit too much, so I decided to switch schools, Kyle concluded. Was it really that bad? I asked. Yeah, yeah it was, Kyle quietly responded. As the day went by, Kyle was asking me several questions about Edeled, like, what does Edeled think of you? How many times has he caused harm? Why is it that whenever he is deleted, he becomes extremely angry? But eventually, I just had enough of those questions. Sam, do you plan on giving away the Wii? How long do you plan to keep it? Kyle asked. I felt as if I was being interrogated, as if I was being suspected for a crime that I didn't commit. I turned around to face him. Will you stop? I yelled. Stop what? Kyle asked. Asking me all these questions, are you literally trying to get me to give you the Wii? I just want to know what Edelet thinks of you, Kyle responded. Okay, I'm honestly confused here, I yelled. First, you tell me you want to destroy it, and then you tell me you just want to take the Wii back, and now you just want to know what Edelet thinks of me? Just get to the point, I concluded. 
Kyle was just silent. I was expecting another lame excuse, but I was surprisingly greeted with nothing. That's what I thought, I quietly said as I turned around and walked away. Eventually, the school day ended, and while I was walking home, I had a thought. What if I just let Kyle see Edelin? I wouldn't let him touch the Wii, nor have any object on him that could potentially destroy it. For example, if he threw something at it and it fell off the table. I would just let him see Edelin. Maybe talk to him. And maybe it might give me some more details about Edelin and this whole ordeal. Pfft. No. Why would I do that? Let alone even think about it. I got home, went inside, shut the door, locked it, and headed straight to my room. I just sat there, on my laptop, just watching some YouTube videos. But the same thought I had earlier hit me again. For some reason, I believe that I can learn more about Edelad if I brought Kyle over. Kyle clearly has a longer history with Edelad than I do. So, I decided to invite him over. Just this once. I still had him blocked on Skype, but I unblocked him and called him. It rained a couple times, and then he picked up.